throwing green and yellow socks. What better way to get students excited to come back to school than a sock fight? Now, the reason behind the colors, that's important, but the socks themselves, they symbolize something. We're going to find out what socks have to do with volunteerism on today's show. So stick around. But up first, it's over to St. Albert with Shaw TV's Tim Dancy. I'm not sure if you just saw that. This guy just backflipped through the air. Okay. We're going to find out what these socks represent. Stay tuned. But, ooh, <laughs> I got some coming my way. Wow, there we go. Uh, but from painting to writing, up next, Sean TV's Bianca Jade learns how one author decided to reclaim her Hutterite heritage. Firing socks at your friends' faces, what does it all mean? We're going to reveal the answer after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. One, fire it, Morgan. Welcome back to the show. Oh, come on, Morgan. Duck, duck. If you're just tuning in now, we're at the U of A. Oh, backflips. We're at the U of A having some fun throwing socks at our friends for a good cause. Uh, actually, we're, we're getting you excited for an event called Socks, Shenanigans, and Service. Lots of shenanigans happening today. Uh, but all these socks represent something, and we're going to learn what they represent coming up shortly with this gentleman looking very spiffy over here in his blazer and scarf. That is Glenn Stokoway. He is the president of the Alumni Association. Stay tuned for that interview. But first, we're keeping warm. However, it's cold outside. We've all noticed it. We're wearing lots of scarves and more layers now. And that means food truck season is also wrapping up. But before we bid our trucks adieu, we're going to take one more look at the Maritimers. Everyone else is wearing their Alumni Association white t-shirts, but Pooja is dressed very nicely in her gold jacket. Gave us a wave there. She is a star student here at the U of A, actually uh, recently graduated. But when she was here, she was volunteering so many hours. I don't know where she found the time. We're going to be chatting with her about what she, what she got out of those volunteer hours and why she wants to encourage you to volunteer as well. That's coming up after Glenn's interview, but before either of those, the next Summer Olympics may be too two years away, but local soccer players recently received a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Volunteer producer Bridget Sang has this story. We are now joined by Glenn Stokoway with the Alumni Association, and we are talking about what socks have to do with volunteerism. Glenn, what is the science behind that? Well, what we have is a special event this year commemorating our uh, uh, centennial in the year 2015. So we have two 2015 gold socks, 2015 green socks, and we're going to have a little sock fight tossing the green and gold socks back and forth. And like I said, each of those socks represents the 2015 volunteers that we've had over the past year. Uh, past couple of years mm -hmm. and also the uh, 2015 volunteer activities that those students have done as well okay. and, and our alumni have done and as what, well. And what kind of volunteering are we talking about? We're talking about student mentorship, uh, assisting students uh, in their recruitment activities and just uh, participating in alumni events and university events on campus as well. Awesome. Yeah. I, I often think of students being so busy as it is. You're studying, you're researching, you're trying to get a social yeah. life maybe yeah. in there. How do these students find time and alumni find time to volunteer? I think mostly it's because it's, it's a fun time and I think it's a bit of career promotion for them as well to get involved with alumni like ourselves and uh, you know better themselves in the uh, in their career opportunities as they move forward. Okay. And like I said, it's a lot of fun. You just well. make the time. We just, we just make the time. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of person volunteers? Um, I think there are pe people that are just generally charitable to begin with. I mean, it happens in, in the, Ed the Edmonton community at large. There's just so many things like the food bank and other things as well. And Edmonton is renowned for that. And I think the university and their, the partnerships we have with those organizations uh, help us all in Edmonton to make it a greater community than we are. Okay. Yeah. And, and finally, this is the big year. This is your centennial. Yeah. What else is happening besides? Besides the sock fights. Oh, we've got a we've got a, a lot of events, and they'll all start next Thursday and Friday. Probably the most prominent one is the uh, the Distinguished Alumni Awards, where we have 40 alumni that will be honored that night for all their uh, uh, all the uh, activities that they have done over their careers, and we'll be doing that. We also have right here in Quad, there'll be the this the 
tuck shop and the cinnamon buns that we have oh, for that. And then, of course, on the Friday night, we have uh, two-time Olympic champion Alex Billado, and he will be doing a lecture for us that, that night as well. We have a cap and gown ceremony on this on Friday morning for the uh, the golden grads, people that have been here in 1964, and we do a reconvocation for them. So that's <laughs> going to be a lot of Wonderful. fun. And we have a couple of tasting events on uh, that happen on Saturday, and also our, our uh, a big event at the McDonald Hotel as well. So Excellent. it's going to be a great weekend. Wonderful. Glenn, thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Stay tuned. More after this. Welcome back to the show. This is Pooja. She's uh, taking one for the team, or at least the team is against her at the moment as they all fire at her with our socks, which we now know represent hours of volunteering. There is a big event happening here at the U of A September 19th. And uh, if you think this looks like fun, multiply this group by, say, 100. We're going to be throwing thousands of socks. And again, it is the centennial for the Alumni Association in 2015 as well. So lots going on. But Pooja, like I just mentioned, she is coming up in the show. And we're going to find out how she found the time to volunteer all those hours that she put in while she was studying and juggling so many other things on the go. But before that, they were recently named VH1's Artists on the Rise. Let's take another look at our interview with the band Congos. <laughs> Okay, we've been talking about her throughout the show, and now she's joined us. This is Pooja Happy, our star volunteer. Uh, when you were studying, because you've graduated yeah. now, what were you studying first? Off? I did a double major in psychology and sociology through the Faculty of Arts. Okay, and then throughout all your studying, you found time to volunteer for the U of A and outside the U of A as well. Let's start with what you were doing uh, through the U of A. Uh, well, I was actually a student here. I volunteered with the International Students Association, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. You get to meet people all across the world that chose to come here of all places <laughs> and it's it was really enjoyable and then after I graduated I joined the Alumni Association and through the Alumni Association we volunteer at the university through the university for other organizations as well so it really is like an alumni ambassador towards awesome and what were you doing outside of the U of A uh, outside of the U of A volunteer for the Free Will Shakespeare Festival was the most recent one I just did which is really fun I really recommend checking out those shows because I'd never actually gone before so it was really fun. I got to volunteer and try something completely new that I've always wanted to. What was it like juggling your schedule? Being a student, <laughs> studying, researching, making sure you got good grades, and then volunteering, maybe having a social life. <laughs> Where do you find the time? I don't know. It's just I've always been volunteering since junior high, high school. Volunteering has always just been something I do, and it's part of my social life. Yeah. I volunteer with friends. I make friends through volunteering. Gotcha. So oh, I really enjoy it. Wonderful. What do you say to every everyone out there, not just <laughs> students, but everyone watching at home, to maybe take that initiative and get involved with your community? I think it should be required. You, you I'm required. very, very strong with this. That's volunteering passionate. is important. That's your community. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes about these days saying this is where I'm from, this is where I'm from. You don't want to like get involved, otherwise you miss out on so many different things. Like People don't realize just how many festivals are in Edmonton. Yeah. Oh, the kind of lot. people you can meet in Edmonton that yeah. you would never find anywhere else. <laughs> I think it's just, it's part of who I am at this point. I can't imagine not volunteering. How excited are you to throw socks at your friends and family and other students? I plan on winning. So. <laughs> Working out that arm, you're gonna like be hurling some socks. Oh, girl! All right. Well, Pooja, thanks so much for speaking with us, and congratulations on yeah. all your hard work. Before we go, here is your on-the-go calendar. All right, we are wrapping up our sock fight. Thanks so much for tuning in. But if you want more information in the meantime about what's happening with shenanigans, socks, and service, and the centennial, you can go to ualberta.ca. I'm gonna go get Warren. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.